more than half of the 2.3 million people living in Namibia live in rural areas in the northern communal regions. Here, one of the main economic activities and most important means of livelihood is rain-fed crop farming. I just depend on this farming and in farming I'm not just producing for eating but I'm producing to sell and get money to help myself, help my family. The farmer's dream is to be able to produce abundant and regular crops from the land so as to better their lifestyle and livelihood. My main aim is to get money. We are applying for, for a business. But land is a fragile resource, subject to a highly variable climate, low soil fertility, as well as sometimes inappropriate methods used by some of the farmers themselves. Without sufficient knowledge of the needs of the land, farmers can and have often defeated their own ends leaving vast fields of previously fertile land now degraded and less productive. And with the added impact that climate change is having on Namibia, future harvests are at risk. Even in the northern side where we're having plenty of rainfall, up to 700 millimeters, 600, 700 millimeters when it's good. But nowadays, sometimes the highest for the season it will be 260 something. So it's too little for the crop to survive. We are already one of the driest countries in the world. Scientists predict global warming will make Namibia even hotter and drier. These effects of climate change could be prolonged dry spells, could be droughts, and there could be floods. And as you know, in Namibia, these two phenomena take place simultaneously. With current agricultural practices, climate change models suggest that rain-fed agriculture by the year 2050 will only be possible in the far north and east of our country, in Kavango East and Zambezi, and with highly reduced yields. The 2013-2014 Agricultural Census revealed that food shortages affected 76% of agricultural households in Namibia, and almost 600,000 households depended on government food relief in 2016. So what is Namibia doing about this? We are actively encouraging farmers to adopt conservation agriculture and good agricultural practices that are in tune with Namibia's natural variability. Farming with Conservation Agriculture, or CA, is a method of crop farming that allows farmers to grow crops without depleting their soil, and over time, to achieve higher yields even in areas of poor rainfall. The Namibian government made it a point that they cater for issues of sustainable management of natural resources in the Namibian constitution, as a result of that, every development framework that we have had from NDP1 and now NDP4, we have had an articulation of strategies and of uh, strategic objectives that the country should embrace to ensure that we minimize the effects of climate change and to ensure that we make our agricultural system resilient to effects of climate change. This is why Namibia's Ministry of Agriculture, Water and Forestry has developed the Comprehensive Conservation Agriculture Program, running from 2015 to 2019, 
Implementation is supported by GIZ, the EU, the FAO, GEF, UNDP, the Green Climate Fund and NGOs. And this is the document that encapsulates the tenants and the nitty gritties of that program. Something that we should all be embracing, which is supported and endorsed by the government of the Republic of Namibia. This film will highlight the experiences of some of the farmers in the northern communal areas of Namibia, who, in the hopes of getting better and more regular yields, have volunteered to participate as lead farmers in the Comprehensive Conservation Agriculture Program. Lead farmers are the first to adopt the method in order to show to other farmers in their communities. I came to be a volunteer because I never used a reaper. So that's why I was very much interested to use it to see the difference between plowing with a plow and a reaper. That's why I came out to see the difference. Typically, small-scale farmers produce around 200 kilograms to 1,000 kilograms per hectare for millet, or mahango as we call it. This program aims to increase these yields significantly. So what is so special about CA? What makes it a viable solution for improving crop production and food security? Conservation agriculture, as practiced in Namibia, has three fundamental principles. Which is minimum disturbance of the soil, which is minimum tillage, where we used the reaper to prepare the land. And then soil cover. And then, of course, crop rotation. The Ministry of Agriculture, Water and Forestry conducted training workshops to teach farmers how to successfully practice CA in combination with good agricultural practices. Agricultural technicians from the ministry and researchers from the two Namibian universities, UNAM and NAST, set up field demonstrations for farmers to observe the results between the different methods and treatments. The purpose of the demo is to, to, to put in, in place the concept of, of uh, CA. All the principles are being practiced here. It's a tool to teach farmers on what the result will be when compared to conventional agriculture. The purpose of these trials is to test the good agricultural practices that we have to advise the farmers, whether it is the conservation agriculture where we put mulch or is where we put organic fertilizers like manure or different kinds of fertilizers. CA, as practiced in Namibia, in combination with good agricultural practices is not a one-size-fits-all method. Soils vary hugely over small areas, so they require different methods and inputs. Agricultural technicians apply different treatments to different demonstration plots. This allows the farmers to evaluate the results and create their own CA package that suits their land. We compare the conservation agriculture with the normal products that the farmers are doing and then it, it is up to them to, to, to select the best method that will, will fit or will suit them. Because our aim is to get a better harvest to feed the whole nation. It was now time for our farmers to begin practicing CA. The first thing the farmers had to do was to give up their traditional plows for rippers, like this Namibian designed ripper furrower. <laughs> it was like a funny. When I heard these lessons, even my family, they were laughing when we start using a ripper. They start laughing at me. What, did you, what are we doing? Because it was their first time to see that. 
Raja Mamuti, change the church maker to later. Ah, to two to Kulimako, Nikakabunga Tauranga Taura Fair, I thought to Lima Fera Muvoni. Then she to Chitulima. The ripper furrower makes ridges and furrows. This improves in field water harvesting because rainfall is concentrated at the bottom of furrows. Crops are then planted along these moisture lines. It's true. The problem is that the environment is contributing to the environment. 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 This side, a repair in our service. Kunu kunivali mina chikekere. This side ya chikekere. Chwele ni wana kuti njia different ni wavu ni wavu ni kuti ugu kui side ya ya repa. Inchi tisati ni zivani many hundred zones zones zivani many rudi. Hai riku nuko chikekere. Kui na magere po gere po. Kono kuti mulole. If fertilizer ni wavu kimu nu. No, this one affair and the Nivazili me one day is on. Was a year to die, can you, Morasi? Kuninga, to go a purura, Tokunu, to Pungoro, to four fair, and to four fair, 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 Okono niki ko kumona hina ngwe uawa ani poku yirugana udigu kote ikwati sa yiku yirugani. Although sowing in CA can be time-consuming and labor-intensive in comparison to conventional agriculture, the major challenge is weeding. Pasi udigu kukuna kuawa piliku kare udigu ngororo mara yaya tulorora ni wai 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 akarasi unzi. Disadvantage <laughs> Seno ane umbola ngo kushendele lapo, tushikufe ngo mo mo muidi, opuje tu ikaleta ikuluna wa ya pe ya menango yaso yaso muidi. Shashipi manandenge no wali mipone na wa, pali mane na wandi mendele lapo kuhele la, natango toka hanga ijashita itaina wa komesha. Some of the farmers are overcoming this challenge by forming weeding groups and tackling one field at a time. But if done properly, weeding does get easier after two to three years. See, this field has been weeded properly at the, at the right time. And now there are a few strong weeds that came back between on the side of the mulch. And they are getting into, into seed setting stage, I mean flowering. In CA, we, we do advise anyways to go back even at later stages and take out whatever weeds is still coming up because we want to reduce the seed bank in the soil. If we can avoid new weeds to set seed, that will mean that we have less weeds in the next season. My expectation in this just 50 by 100 meters of maize, I expect I will exceed even 50 bags of maize. And these cowpeas, it might be even more than 10 bags. That is what I do expect in, my, in this just one hectare, which is half. A hectare is beans and half a hectare is maize. We visited our farmers again during harvest time to see how they felt about their harvest and if there was any notable difference between the yields they got from their CA fields compared to plots where traditional farming was practiced. Dinner, very nice. You see, very nice crop. 
kakuya hava tanga kuli mahana mwa December mani tuba kutaguti kasava ore kakuli yani jiba kupona harati chilia kuara chora ba bunga tuara fela mera ini chini mata ta aha yani jiba ora kuha zio kakuli si yani jiba na harati kando zio zisi zini ni noku mena kazi ni oli aku shara mo na mara ini kono tuba jiki mutu ore la puta hora jina yani mani zio chizi keza kuku konda pere mwa ini na kuha no mani chitoa tanga kuya buku tuara. On this side, on the traditional one, where we use the plow, we got only three bags. On the other side, CA, where we used a, a reaper, we got four bags in each. So that side, it was very nice than the traditional one. Good yields are not the only thing our researchers are interested in. They are also monitoring to see if CA is improving soil fertility. Selected farmers received intensive training in the principles of CA before the 2016-17 cropping season began. These lead farmers are now asked to identify and train around 10 other farmers in their community. I must teach other farmers, even though other farmers, they are already come and see what is happening. They were saying that, you know, we are, we too, we want these things which we have did. Then I told them that no problem, as long as you come to me, then I can teach you a little bit the knowledge which I have. So I'm trying to invite others to come see what is happening here in my field. And it seems this new technique is very much good. And myself, I adopted this one. Lead farmers who implemented CA for the very first time achieved up to 70% high yields on their CA demonstration plots compared with their conventional fields. However, as this was only the first season, this can most probably be attributed to good agricultural practices like fertilizer application rather than the three CA principles themselves. Where CA and conventional agriculture were implemented under the same conditions, no significant differences could be seen yet between CA and conventional methods. This is to be expected, as the positive impact of CA practices only appears after three to five years of continuous application, as soil fertility improves. <laughs> yeah, it is true. To be one of the volunteers to do this plowing, to use a reaper, you need to have some lessons. Because you do it for your own, it is very difficult. Something that I have learned is, everything that you do, you ought to record. To see your loss, your gain, where you, you, you have enough. I think everybody who is interested to do this, he must go for, for lessons, to know it. Climate change is real. We need our tertiary institution to really do more investigation with time just to bring on board different technologies to cope with either drought or too much water so that whatever situation we find ourselves in, we should be able to say farmers, these are options. It is being estimated that uh, the current cropping practices that we are utilizing may not be able to produce the yields that will be required to feed the growing population of Namibia by 2050. And as such, we need an alternative to complement what we are doing now, or even to minimize the damaging effects of our current practices that we are utilizing in the agriculture crop production system. And that alternative is comprehensive conservation agriculture. I'm really happy because it's my first time to get a lot of crops here like this one. For most farmers, this is their first season doing conservation agriculture. We will visit our farmers again in two years' time and see how they are faring with this new method of crop farming called conservation agriculture.